Hello, welcome to Star Wars Spelt Out. I'm your host, Josh Chapman, and today, a small video, one, two, what, one package? Two package, technically one, with something extra. Um, so, this is the almost the end of the figures. I think I said that last week, I said something was coming that was gonna signify the end, and this pretty much signifies the end. Um, bar one, maybe two, but this is it here. Um, these arrived yesterday, after I had a bit of a taxing week, I won't get too much detail, but my Facebook account got hacked. So I lost all my Facebook profile forever. So I had to start all again. So if you do know me and I try to add you on Facebook, that's actually really me. But it also meant I was kicked out of all the groups. I had to go in there and reestablish all of that again. And it's just been a bit of a nightmare, really. But And I had to message the guy who already sent it. And he'd already sent it, luckily, so I didn't have to try to... Deal with that with him thinking that it, maybe it wasn't me or anything like that, but it's been a bit of a pain in the neck. But this is, yeah, the last sort of thing that's coming and there's something else that's kind of relative, but there are some other peripheral stuff that all might be coming as well, but I'll get into that in a sec. But let's just get cracking on this and see what we've what we've got, basically. Let's put up the old uh, video and see if there's Daddy Pig hanging again. He's become a bit of a star himself. Where's Daddy Pig, people ask? So this is from the same seller who I've got a fair bit of stuff off. He's been great. He's um, good prices, great communication, prompt, send stuff through early. He's been really good. Can't can't fault it, really. And yeah, he packs everything. Whoa, shoot. Very well as well. And these are all starting to fall out. So I'll just, I'll just do them one by one in here. So here you go. Here's the first thing. And this sort of, this sort of signifies the last of the, the things that I needed, really. But like I said, apart from one more thing that we'll get to. But just to kick it off, we'll just get roll straight into this sort of thing. <sighs> classic, classic. I keep saying classic for everything. It's a gonk droid. Shout out to Chris Hall, who I know loves the gonk droids. There it is. What a beauty. He's in pretty good condition, actually. Again, these were all pretty low end. Oh, his feet click. Oof, I don't want to click it too much. I'm worried it might not go back to the thing, but he's got his little antenna still. His stickers are all intact. He uh, looks like he's in great great shape. Great for displaying. Gonk, gonk, gonk. So he will sit down there. That'll be one of the easiest ones you'll ever get to try to sit straight because it's pretty square. So I'm just going to pull in, pull out of stuff random here and just sort of see what we get. I said, Like I said, there's not a stack of stuff here, so don't expect a particularly long um, video this week. Be nice to be able to get to 10 minutes to hit the algorithm, but who cares? We're not talking sheep stations here. Now, this is a third v version, outstanding version of one that I've already got. <laughs> oh, goodness, yeah. He's seen some action, this guy, but I knew I was getting what I paid for. Exactly what I was getting paid for. He's a bit loose, but there is R2. 1978 or whatever is the classic the first one the solid dome so no stethoscope or sensor scope whatever they call it stethoscope and obviously no pop-up but i got a pop-up already his sticker's looking pretty manked but it's the real sticker i'd rather have the real sticker than not the real sticker so there he is he's seen some miles oh still clicks but it's a real it's a real one. I wanted a real one. There's nearly one on eBay I got that was probably ended up being roughly around this, so I kind of passed on because of the delivery kill, kills you in Australia. So there we go. Classic R2. The one and only. Who else have we got in here? Just unwrapping. These are... These are Again, well wrapped in the bubble wrap, but they're not insanely wrapped like the last ones. Again, these have been perfectly wrapped. Well, this one was a little bit more expensive because it is a Jawa and he's in his hood. He doesn't have his blaster. Let's remember her name. Anybody remember? Everybody remember that movie Star Wars? Yeah, so he doesn't have his blaster, but he does have his cloak. Obviously, it's not a vinyl cape. Shout out to Turbo. You know, if you're watching, mate, I know you, you're hoarding one somewhere. One day, Matt Mole insists he's going to get that off you or break into your house. But no, it's good. I, again, it's a figure that probably really excels when it's got its cape with it. So I was happy to pay a little bit more to get him with the cape. Cape's a little, you know, seen some action, but that's good. He'll look great upon the 
on the um, on the shelf. Let's pop them down there. Not too many left in here. There's only one or two left. Plus a couple of other little things. What's that? That's just a bit of plastic. That's nothing. That's another bit of plastic. That's nothing. What have we got? Whoops. Oh, okay. I know what that is. I think. And we've got, oh, he looks nice. Uh, 3PO. A non-collapsing normal 3PO. Again, another Star Wars first sort of 20 run of things. So there it is. He's in good nick. I had a friend of the show, Turbo, say he might have had one that I could have had, but um, I got a chance to just get this one. Then he can keep his other one even if he had a spare. But who knows? I might need another one another day. So his limbs are pretty stiff. It looks like he's had a little bit of stuff done to the limbs to maybe stiffen him up, but he's just got to stand there. He looks really nice, actually. I'm really happy with that. You can even see the shine. Still shining. Look at the shine off there. In-camera effect, practical effects right there. So I'll put 3PO just there. Um, there should be at least one more figure in here. I can sort of suss out what's going on in here. We'll find out if I'm doing a live thing where something hasn't turned up. But he hasn't missed a beat, this fella, so I'm not expecting there to be any issues. Oh, okay. Oh, there they are there. So what's that then? Is that just a general piece of paper for packing then? I thought that had the other thing in it, but the other is in there. I'll do those ones last. But there's another. There's one more figure here. And I think this one's got an accessory. So I actually ordered this a little while ago, but we we're waiting for this figure to come out because he said he had one that was coming that he could pass on. Oh, yep, don't drop it. Nearly dropped it. And it's the best pin guard. The other one, there's two. There's one with the mustache and there's this guy. And he's got his blaster. Oh, there it is. So he looks good. He was a little bit more because he can complete. I wasn't chasing complete, but I needed it. And he was actually reasonably hard to find. So I'm glad that I got that. He's looking very nice. Very good. Happy with that. And that's sort of almost the outline of all the figures. And then the other stuff that I've got two things in here that are a little bit left field, but he had them. And again, they're not in amazing condition, but I thought they would complement them very well. Was a Tuscan Raider cape. Genuine cape. Again, the Tuscan I talked a while ago about. I thought the Tuscan would look better with a cape. And he had one. And he was sending it anyway, so I didn't have to pay anything on post. He just came with the other stuff and got the cape to go with it. So I'll pop him on my Tuscan when he gets displayed. And same again with a layer cape. As you can see, it's got a little tear in it. But it's the real deal. And she's just got to wear it and stand there. So pretty happy with that. I reckon that looks really good. So they'll look really great. So that's a little extra thing. Does it start the rabbit hole of going down for accessories and things? Oh, we'll see. Oh, let's worry about all this first. So the other thing that I've got, which just arrived today, uh, about an hour ago. I'm worried if I open this, it's going to spill everywhere. But I'll just try and do this at the top and just show what's in here. There's no figures in here, but it is related. So I thought I might as well just, since I'm doing this, and there isn't a lot of stuff this week in the sales, Try and open it up. If not, I'm assuming it's going to be in a bag. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Put that out. And that is a whole bunch of figure peg stands. The larger ones. I wanted the larger ones, a bit more space. Whether that means they can't all, I won't have enough space to add them side by side. But yeah, there's supposed to be 120 in here, I believe. Or 100. It's got 100 written on the bag. So that should be enough. That'll cover every figure. There they are. That's what you get. So I can do 
If I'm doing the C3PO, be funny if it didn't fit. Oh, it is a bit snug. Careful. There he goes. He stands up. So our project, I've got the, the other thing that's coming is the stands, maybe even tomorrow. And I can start displaying these things and they're not just sitting in a box over in the corner where they are now. So that'll be really good. And there is a big purchase that I've made on, I think, a vehicle that I paid a deposit on. The guy I've got it from can't do it till for a week or two. So it's not going to turn up for a week or two. So hopefully when that turns up, I'll have that and I can show you the stands with the stuff displayed and we'll have some progress. We'll be very close to the end. So with the, if, you, if you're playing along at home and you've got your little checklist out and you've been checking everything off, as I do have one, I can't, well, I could figure it out. I should have done that beforehand of the checklist, but yuck face is the last, whoops, last man standing, the last holdout. So there's a couple of eBay things and a couple of sellers I'm looking at. I might have a bit of money coming in because I, Someone owes me some money for some tickets, but you know, you already spend it and you think it's gone, then it comes back. So there might be a little bit of money, there might be a little bit of money in the budget for a yak face, depending how much it costs. And then that'll be the main run. And then the question of blue snag, do we do blue snag? And then I've also want to finish the Max Rebo band as well. And I've got a slice noodle, slice noodles already, but if I can get a complete one, I might just get that and then sell the one that I've got potentially. Uh, there's a seller, there's someone on eBay selling a full one and, and it's a local Australian seller. So I'm keeping an eye on that. We'll see where that ends up and if we make any rash purchases and things like that. So that's it for this week. So thank you everybody. People asking about them and here it is. We're getting close to the end here, people. But hopefully next time we do a video, you'll see them. They'll all be sort of lined up somewhat coherently until I figure out exactly when I want to do it. But how do, what order? Do you just do an order release? Do you do movies across the thing? Do you do a row of the movies here? Do you put the last 17 at the front? Who knows? Everyone's got different ideas of how they do stuff. So anyway, we'll keep plugging away and um, we'll see you soon.